Hey guys, welcome to Easy Programming, an initiative for a common man to learn programming. This is the lecture number 6 of the series of C language tutorials. In the previous lecture, we have learned loop, for loop, while loop, do while loop, and demonstration of loop. In today's lecture, we will cover the label, go to statement, switch statement, and pointers. So start with the label. Okay, so what is label? Label distributes your program in different parts, named as label. Why labels are used? Syntax of the labels and use of the label. Let's see in the compiler. Okay, this is the syntax. Label name and colon. Label name could be anything. Label name could be anything, and this is a mandatory part. You can name the la label as Harry. This is a valid label name. You can say John. This is a valid name. So these are the labels. What is go to statement? Go to statement changes the flow of your control of the program and takes the control abruptly. So, what is the syntax in the demonstration? After the demonstration, you will get to know. This is the go to label name. You specify here the go to, this is a keyword predefined, and label name. After this, colon, and specify the label name here. For example, like go to. specify easy programming here is this prefix so you can write another thing here but make sure this label name and this label name must be same. So let's see a demonstration. Okay, this is a demonstration. Here is the header files, main function, printf. This is the start of the program. This is the go to statement. Go to easy programming, and this is a semicolon, part of the syntax. These are some. Statements. This is the label and this is the dependent statement. So, first of all, without these lines, okay, without the go to statement, check the output. This is the output. This is the first line. This is the start of the program. This is the line number two. This is the line number three. And this is line easy programming. Use of go to and label. This is without go to statement. This is a formal flow from bottom to down. But if we use go to statement, so now the program will run from here, it will print this line, it will go to this statement, and it will find out this label. If it finds this label here, it will print this, but it will skip 
these lines so between the go to statement and to label all the lines will be skipped so let's check the input look compiled now let's see so check this output this is the start of the program this is go to skip these lines and now easy programming use a go to and label so when we use the go to statement the statement between the go to and to label are uh, skipped it changes the flow of the program now switch statement what is a switch statement switch statement is used to switch between the input and the associated output why it is used and syntax and demonstration let's see how look so this is the syntax of the switch statement here you specify a keyword switch in the brackets any condition or the statement or any variable which is which contains an input it could be any variable as well right in here see this is case this is the part of the syntax and it is also keyword here you can specify any input 1 input 2 here input 3 here nth input you can specify as many inputs as you can so this is a statement this is a statement this is a break statement break is also a keyword so when start the switch statement switch is the keyword then check this variable or the condition uh, then it matches the out the value containing this variable if this 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 if this is matched it prints this or executes these statements and then break break statements stop the execution of the program and take the control at the end of this switch of move the control out of the switch statement and this is a default case default code is not mandatory it is optional but default case means that if no input is matched then execute these statements so we have code here so this is the header file this is the main function this is a variable integer choice this is the printf it prints the string this is a scanner scanner takes the input from the user and stores it in this variable named choice switch this is a variable named choice this is the input 1 2 and 3 these are the input values not the case numbers these are input values 1 2 3 and this is the default case okay here we see that it is printed hi welcome user input any one of them one for the Stephen two for the John three for the Peter here you give your input in the can of and in switch you check your input choice if you enter one then it will print your choice is one print f your name is Stephen if the choice is two then your choice is two Stephen not Stephen it is John three it is Peter and if you specify any other input like uh, other than one two three you will be an invalid input so let's see the output Let's see. This line is executed. Printf. Hi, welcome user. 
input any one of them one for Stephen two for John three for Peter let's see we enter one here you see we enter one it prints matches the case one your choice is one the value of the choice variable your name is Stephen so in the other iteration you see now we enter two your choice is two the case two is matched your name is John three your choice is three your name is Peter to check the default case here we have three inputs one two and three if we press five other than one two three your input is invalid the default case is executed so this is the use of the switch statement it switches between the input values it usually uses in menus like if you give a menu to the user then according to the choice of the user you have to do something then you use the switch statement so now pointers what is pointer pointer points to a memory location now we see the concept of the memory location here this box is a memory consider this is a memory these are the variables one two and three variables first variable contains the value 5 second it contains the value 67 the third contains the value 90 and first the address of the first variable in the memory is f3 f45 the second is c4432 third is DA435 this is the memory address this is the memory address of the variable it is in hexa form hexa means the letters is a combination of letters and digits so the memory address is a different thing from the value of the variable what is the use of the pointer and multi role of the pointer what is the syntax and the demonstration let's have a look this is a syntax to declare a pointer pointer is declared like a variable this is the data type this is a static static is indicates that it is a pointer you can say it is the pointer static shows that it points to a memory location this is the pointer name and you give pointer a memory location by this pointer name is equal to ampersand sign this is the part of the syntax and this is the variable name so if you want to access the memory address simply with the pointer name and if you want the content of the memory I mean the value of the variable you specify a static so this is the syntax here it is remember this that a pointer and the variable must have the same data type if the variable is integer then the pointer must be an integer if the data type is float the pointer must be a float pointer must have the same data type let we have a look on the code these are the error files this is the main function let's see this is the variable containing the value 5 in variable 5 this is an integer type variable here we declare a pointer to the variable integer.
static this is the name ptr underscore var this is the name of the pointer and static shows that it is a pointer this shows that it is a pointer okay we assign the pointer by this like pointer name this is a pointer name pointer var is equal to ampersand sign and the variable name now it points now this pointer points to this variable to display the value of the variable is simply like this to display the value of the pointer just do pointer percent d static ptr underscore var the pointer name and to know about the address percentage x is used it is an format specifier for displaying the hexadecimal memory address this is the pointer name so compile it run let's see what the output says the output says that the value of the variable is 5 the value of the pointer is 5 because the pointer is pointing to this variable and static with the static the pointer will display the value of the variable and without static it shows the address this is the address the address is 28FF44 this is the address change the value let's say the value is 43 compile it again one the value of variable is 43 the value of the pointer is 43 and the address is 28ff44 so if you specify here this star then it will show the value of the variable and if you specify here without star then it will display the address so it is the use of the pointer you can use the pointer to know about the address of the variable and to change the variable from the address so this is all about the pointers is a pointer and now today we have covered all the basic concepts of C language now learn these concepts grip on these concepts and what to do in future so take the tutorials try to learn from the tutorials available on the internet and online study there are so many blogs and websites related to the programming try to search this try to play with this programming language try to do something new with this programming languages there are some books available in the market or in on online so read these books and try to learn something more and there are something DVDs available in the market so try to buy these DVDs try to learn something from these DVDs because programming is just about the learning programming is all about the learning all about the practice all about the practicals so the more you work hard the more you will be the efficient programmer so best of luck for your future and thank you for your patience and thank you for your watching kindly like us give comments post comments give the feedbacks and thank you for watching